Well, I was out walking the dogs this morning in my local Florida forest, and uh, it had rained last night, so everything is just beautiful and saturated and lush. And I came across some really nice fall color here in the forest, so I quickly went home and got the cameras and came back out and set up a neat composition here uh, with my Pentax 645Z, and I'd like to walk you through that composition right now. It's a pretty simple composition, straightforward, uh, vertical, and just some nice trees, which I've tried to keep pretty straight. I'm tilting down a little bit, so you can see the ones over here are uh, diverging just a little bit, but um, you kind of have a nice shape of these trees, the base of these trees arcing in there, and a little foreground interest, and mainly I'm interested in the fall color juxtaposed against the regular green of the forest, um, and some nice curving branches at the top to sort of define the corners and the edges. So, pretty straightforward, but a nice solid little composition here in the uh, Florida fall forest. And of course, there's a little bit of sky peeking through up here, but I'll use my darkened cloning method and, and get rid of those little bright spots of sky. I never want those coming through. And of course, this deer moss is awfully bright. That's always a problem photographing here, so I'll have to tone that down so it doesn't overwhelm the picture. I am using a polarizer so uh, to, uh, to remove some of the shine in the leaves. Let me turn it and you can see that shine come back. And then I turn it some more and that goes away. So I think I like it with that shine removed or mostly removed. I have my 45 to 85 on and I'm about 60 millimeters F16. And I am focus stacking this one. I just focus uh, right at the, at the foreground for one image and then on the middle ground for the next one. That seems to take care of all the sharpness I need. fall color here in North Florida is so spotty. I mean, it's almost Christmas time as I record this, and we still have fall color to work on. Everything's just kind of late here, and it's not a lot of fall color anyway. So it's kind of neat though. It, just a few trees turn sort of in the middle of the green forest. So that uh, makes kind of a nice color contrast as opposed to just a, a wash and mass of color, which is so common uh, up north or out west. I got really lucky this morning because I was able to get back out here with the camera and make the picture before the conditions changed. So often it happens that I'm out walking the dogs and I don't really anticipate making photographs. I find something that I'm excited about and then I have to run the dogs home, grab the gear and get back out here. And by the time I do that, the conditions have all changed. But today, 
it's worked out pretty well. And the sun is starting to peek out a little bit now, but it's still cloudy enough that I was able to do what I needed to and, and get that picture captured today.